This pandemic absolutely fricked me, guys. As of recording this video, it is 2022, uh, which means that the pandemic is uh, still ongoing. However, it's died down in the last year. So things are definitely better than they used to be. But back in the late 2020s, early 2021s, this was the most terrible thing for my antisocial personality disorder. And yeah, it was pretty good because I didn't have to interact with people, but it was also bad because I didn't interact with people. The thing about people who are antisocial is yes, Maybe most of the time they don't want to talk to people, but it's very good for them to talk to people. Kind of gets us used to normal society, so we don't sound like a bumbling idiot every time someone looks in our direction. Yes, would I rather stay in my bed and watch Netflix and anime than do any social interaction whatsoever? Yeah, probably. But am I self-aware to know what's good for me? Yeah. If I don't get at least one hour of social interaction a day, the next time I'm faced with another human, I'm gonna break down faster than a Tyler 1 stream. Here's a bit of information about me. I didn't go to what one would consider a college more like a boarding school where you don't do anything or go anywhere and all of your stuff is already there in other words i did not go to college and this was right when the pandemic hit so i didn't have any social interaction besides my family for two years slowly reverting back to my primal state reverting to something pre-homo erectus i'd become something more stupid Around a year and a half into the pandemic, they finally opened the beach down where I live and I decided to take my dog for a walk. Blissfully ignorant to the fact that I hadn't talked to a single human besides my family in over a year. So I'm out walking my dog on the beach, as you do, with my earphones in. And a couple roughly my age started coming the opposite direction of me. The girl stops and looks at my dog and goes, Hey man, it's a pretty cool dog. Do you mind if I pet that dog? And in that moment, my brain went into a comatose state, frantically trying to gather its resources to figure out what the fuck am I supposed to say to this woman. Alright man, you got this. She wants to pet your dog. Just say yes. Say yes. Go. What the fuck are you doing? I have never panicked so much in my entire life. Absolutely nothing in my brain was connecting. Have you ever had those dreams where you're fighting somebody and you intend to punch them with all your might but it ends up moving at the velocity of a high snail with a blood alcohol content of one? Your brain just isn't listening to you in any capacity? Well yeah, that's how I felt that entire time. And this woman looks at me like, is it okay? Like is she, is she gonna bite me or something? All right, all right, this is fine. We can recover, we can recover. Just say no, just say no. Go. <sighs> I'm sorry, it's not you, it's me. And fear not, young Padawan. This is merely one of the many social mistakes I have made on my path to becoming a normal human being. One time I was at the gym and I wanted to go to the bathroom, so I went up to the biggest stall I could find because, let's be real, we always want to be in the big stall. I had to take a number two, and upon putting my hand on the handle and pulling, I realized it was locked and being occupied. Now, any normal person would forget that that happened and just wait for the person to come out so they can use the stall. But not me. My brain went into an overdrive panic as I heard him flush the toilet. So instead, I quickly ran over to a urinal and pretended to pee. I didn't need to pee. I just wanted to make sure he didn't know it was me who pulled on the stall, nor did I want him to see that I was waiting on him. I breathe a sigh of relief and begin to zip up my pants and make my way over to the stall when I see another person walk into the stall and close the door. So I go back to pretending I'm peeing until he comes out and then another person walks in. This cycle continued for half an hour until everybody finally left the bathroom and I was able to take my lackluster shit. I come from an entire family of extroverts and I'm the only introverted one in there, so every time I do anything ever they look at me like I'm insane. You don't want to talk to people. You just want to be alone? That's so boring. It's very difficult for someone to understand where you're coming from when socializing comes natural. So take what they say with a grain of salt. Personally, in the last year, I've tried to socialize a bit more, come out of my shell a little bit, and nothing terrible has happened yet, but like most situations in the universe, it's only a matter of time. Alright, see ya.